with confidence, with an acceptance of who and what we are, never apologizing for living or for being, but always being true to the uniqueness that we are. That's what health is. It's a different approach, but it pays great dividends when we apply it, when we practice it, when we live out of the awareness that we are not our body. We are something above and beyond, far greater, more. That self that is invisible, that acts upon mind, and mind creates the body of that awareness. No part of the body is separate from the rest of the body. We may seem to have pain in a certain part of the body, but the whole body is affected by our attitude. Our whole body is affected by what we are going through in our imagination, in our feeling, in our thought, whatever. Remember that your thought and your attitude affects, first of all, your body, because it is the vehicle of you. It is always with you. And so, knowing that every cell in your body is a reaction to your now attitude, we can do something about the attitude. And changing that attitude touches every cell in your body immediately. Immediately. I believe in instantaneous healing. Or let me say, I believe in awakening to the perfection that we already are, which appears as instantaneous healing. And when we are identified with our own ability to achieve, to think creatively, and to live our life out of our own self, we have a chance. We are in the right direction of perfect health at all times. Your body, every bit of it, is affected by your thought. Just as is everything in your world, in your consciousness. I have two dogs at home, and they are affected by my attitude, by my consciousness, whether I'm there or not. And so it is with everything in our life. You have within you a power to live greatly and as perfect health at all times. If we slip, so what? Forgive yourself, get back on center, and move forward in that creative way. Never feel guilty because you somehow got sick. But let it go and again get back on center and touch that power within yourself that is rich, whole, complete. You are the power in your life. We literally create our bodies moment by moment. Now, of course, we do this by our thought, by our feeling, by our attitude, and we not be, may not be aware of it, but then that's why I'm here, to point the way, to show the power of mind over body. And when we realize that we have created body that may be imperfect, we can also realize that we can recreate the body in the image and likeness of our God self, in the image and likeness of our true self, in the image and likeness of our believing in who and what we are. Don't try to do something about the body. Do something about your attitude. Do something about yourself. Do something about who and what you really are. Because again, this touches every area of your life, including your body. So, health then is being aware of who and what we are, daring to be ourselves, daring to be true to who and what we are, expressing that belief in ourself in this inner kingdom of life, of love, of God. And mind automatically creates. Anything can be changing your body with a flick of an intention. And when we change our intention, body corresponds. Yes, there may be something that you want to change in your body. You can always go and have liposuction done liposuction, and have new hips, or whatever. But, again, the power of health is within your attitude, within your loving yourself, being 
in tune with this power within yourself that can do anything. Change your intention from trying to get to giving and body corresponds. What is your intention in life? To become a great star so that you can have fame and wealth and people adoring you? Then that intention is going to create all kinds of problems and health problems as well. The intention must be to give and to share the talent that you have, to bless the world in some creative way. Nothing wrong in being a star, but a true star is someone who is centered on their reality, on their belief in their self, on their belief in their talent, and giving it in ways that bless others. Money happens automatically. We only have what we give. That's the law of life. So our intention then must be to give the highest of ourselves to all that we do. Our intention must be to look beyond the appearance and discover God within every person everywhere. Our intention must be to give of the love that we are rather than judging or criticizing anyone. Your intention is important and your intention causes mind to create the body of whatever that intention is. Your body, remember, is not health. Health is in believing in yourself. Health is in believing in that identity of God as you and living and expressing accordingly. We can change our body by changing our personality. Your body right now reflects your personality. And if you are kind of constrained, if you are living within yourself and are not giving or not sharing or are not reaching out to others, that type of personality creates a certain type of body. And it is not a body that is free of pain. Change your personality to one of love, of joy, accepting who and what you are, giving, radiating the joy of being, and body corresponds. That's just the way it works. Body is result. Body is a reflection of your purpose, your attitude, of whatever it is that you are given to the present moment. And we can change our body instantaneously when we arrive at that realization that we are whole, complete, now, and give of that completeness to the moment, rather than trying to influence anyone, rather than trying to manipulate other people to get you voted into or onto a board of trustees or whatever. Let go of trying to get. When you have the right uh, when you have the right consciousness, then your good is there automatically. You don't have to ask for it. It is there because you are that personality that is equal to that good. It is personality that counts. Somebody was talking about um, a, a person who is going to be a bride. And she said about this particular person, that bride... Uh, is going to be a dog because I've never seen anybody so ugly and I said I've done hundreds hundreds of weddings and I've never seen an ugly bride I never have all brides are beautiful because even if it's just for that moment they are radiating a sense of self-acceptance they are radiating a something that says I am beautiful and I'm desired and I'm wanted now, of course, that's not 